Okay, so the first we have is this super drug antibacterial makeup brush sanitizer in this bottle. So I need to get better at actually using up my makeup brushes and cleaning them. Uh, so you just just spray it on your brush and then you wipe your brush with a damp towel and then it should sanitize it and clean the makeup off it because my makeup brushes are disgusting. Um, then have a Revolution fi Illuminating Fixing Spray. It's a 95ml as well. I haven't actually started to use this yet, but let's have a look at the mist. Ooh, it's got a good mist on it. Ooh. It's got a nice smell as well, actually. Quite like refreshing. And then we also have another setting spray at the moment. So we've got the Revolution Pro Supreme Matte Finishing Spray. This is... 100ml. Now this is the one that I've kind of been using every day at the moment just to try and use it up. Um, it really does mat like mattify down your makeup. It's got it's got like a quite nice mist on it as well. So okay, so we have the number 17 matte base perfection oil control primer. Uh, this is a 30ml. I've also started using it. I think I'm about up to there when using it. Um, now, I wouldn't really recommend this primer, I'll be honest. There are other ones, like the Collection Mattifying Primer. That's a lot better than this one. And it's near a similar price range. This one I found, it's quite thick. It really do, it does mattify your face down, don't get me wrong. Like, it really does what it says it does. But as I found that as I put it on, it's kind of, like, pulled my skin up. And I've got, like, a lot of dead skin cells that come up. It sounds gross, I know. But, like, it just goes all over your hands. And, yeah, I don't think it helps to make your makeup last any longer than if say you use like the collection primer so I, w I won't be repurchasing this one but I am going to try and use it up this year. We have the Jekka Blanc Glow Drops, the highlighting primer for your face. Now I can't think where I got this. I think I got this in the, in a glossy box. Um, it's used in the shade Champagne. And I believe you can use it as a, like a liquid highlighter or you can apply it all, all to your face before you put makeup on and it gives you like a little glow. So I'm not really like a liquid highlighter, like liquid makeup kind of girl. I personally just prefer like powder products. But I'm excited to try it. It's 20ml and we'll see what you think. Um, I also now have the Revlon photo ready candid antioxidant concealer in the shade 001 banana now it looks like this it comes in a little squeezy tube it does get everywhere like the the, the tube you, you unscrew it and then you get the little like, applicator like the applicator is quite good but it's because it's a squeezy tube i tend to find i put the applicator in product sometimes goes everywhere it just comes out the sides so it can get a bit messy this is 10 mil i wouldn't personally repurchase this i kind of bought it as like a one-off just to just to try and test it out but it's it's not the best product it kind of clings to, to my dry patches it's quite yellow and i found that it doesn't really blend very well so i've tried blending with a brush and a beauty blender it, it doesn't really blend very well so i wouldn't really recommend this product but i'm going to see if i can use it up this year okay so next we have a lipstick this is the MUA Makeup Academy Velvet Lipstick Smooth Matte Finish in the shade Couture. Now, it looks like this. I've, I think I've barely used it. It's a nice little shade. It's kind of like a nice, like, purpley kind of shade. So, I do have loads of lipsticks, which is why there's quite a few lipsticks in here, and liquid lipsticks. I'm um, just because I have so many. So, this is kind of a shade that I wouldn't personally wear it like over other shades so that's why i'm trying to use up this one so next we have the collection lasting perfection matte liquid lipstick with hyaluronic acid this is in the shade secretive 2 now this is kind of like the perfect like nude lips nude liquid lipstick you know it's got a nice like flat applicator it really does like dry down it's like the nice like shade however i have so many like liquid lipsticks in my collection so it's like it's really nice but I just have so many and this one's been open quite a while so I'm gonna try and use it up for it expired. We have a Nicole Miller New York lipstick 
Um, this came as part of a set, so it doesn't have like a shade name, but it's kind of like this really like light beige kind of. It's almost like a skin color. Really nice formula. It's a really like smooth formula. So I do I do have some more of these lipsticks in other shades, which I do use more regularly than this one. So. Um, so now we have a highlighter. This is the Starstruck Triple Baked Highlighter, Triple Illumini, oh, from I Heart Revolution. And it looks like this. It's got like a star. Now, I quite like this one. But it's it's the packaging. It's because it's so bulky. Like, it doesn't really fit, like, in my drawers and in the storage organisers that I have. So I'm trying to use up. There is like a lot of product here. It's almost got like purple undertones to it. And I think if you're doing like a purple eye look, then this is actually quite a good highlight to use. But it's the fact that it's just so bulky. It's just what's making me trying to use up. Because this is also fairly new. I also got this in a glossy box as well. So next we have the collection Pressed Powder in the shade 01 Candlelight. Now I really do like this, pri this primer, this powder. As you can see, I've really hit pan on it as well but I just have so many other powders that I'm just trying to use up at the moment and this one's close to finished I've had this one a while I then have the collection gloss me up lip gloss in the shade clear one so this is just like a clear lip gloss now I like this lip gloss it gives like very shiny it's very like long lasting however I now have like revolution like gloss bombs which I prefer over this so I'm just trying to use this one up. This was only like 4 99 I think. It's quite like inexpensive. But yeah, this one's like a really good one. So now I have the Makeup Gallery Turn Up the Volume and Define Mascara in the shade Ultra Black 1. Now this mascara is actually from Poundland. And I really would recommend it. Like it's really good. It's got a really good like applicator there. Like it does like absolute amazing things. Like it really does like define my lashes. It's the one I've got on now. So, like I really would recommend it. It's just the fact that this one's quite old. So next we have the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Beam. So this is like a liquid blush. But I haven't really like used this yet on my face. So I need to try and just try and use it. Oh well, yeah, I definitely put way too much on. Oh, it's really pigmented actually. It's definitely really pigmented. I put way too much on, but just so you can kind of see the colour. Like, it's a really pretty kind of like peachy colour. So that would be nice with the makeup. And then also on the topic of liquid products, we have the Iconic London Precision Duo Contour Pot. So, which came in the gloss box advent calendar for this year. So you get the little like powder, get like the powder contour on the top, and then at the bottom you get like the li the liquid like the cream so I think the idea is to use the cream and then you top it off by using the powder on top just to set it in place so it's really good it's a really nice shade I just need to start using it more so here we have another liquid lipstick now I think it doesn't actually say what brand it is on the packaging so I'm not not really sure but this this one is quite old but it's like a, a red Like a liquid lipstick like it dries down matte and this red will last all day just one coat like will really last you it's like it's nice just like red kind of shade so it definitely does last you all day so yeah it's really powerful i don't really wear wear red lipstick very often so this is something that's going to push me out of my comfort zone and make me hopefully start wearing it a bit more and then we also have another mascara. We've got the collection Fast Stroke Defining Lash Mascara in the shade Ultra Black 17. And then this one is actually quite a good mascara. I actually bought a duplicate of this. So I do actually have another one of these, which I didn't realise that I had. So it's quite a good like lengthening mascara. I have the collection Colour Lash Conditioning Mascara in the shade Clear One. This is just like a clear mascara. I like to just, if I'm having like a no makeup day, I like to put this on my lashes, just to lengthen them a little bit, give them a bit more volume. And I've also recently been using this as like a brow setter, so like a brow gel, just to kind of use it up a bit more. Then have the Brow Italia Defying Brow Styling Brow Soap, 
comes in this little pot now i actually broke the lid and mine came off but my pot looks like that it's a bit disgusting i can't lie but i'm not really a brow soap person like i don't really like this i just found that it doesn't really set my brows in place and it just leaves a bit of like sticky residue at the end so i'm more of a, like a brow gel other than brow soap so this is why i'm trying to use this one up um, i now have two of two lip glosses these are these also came in a set um i can't remember what the set is called i think i got the set from like tk maxx it's just like really pretty kind of colors of lip gloss it's just like a plain pink one which i've to be fair i've nearly used this one up anyway but it's kind of like you get like a cute little like applicator it's like a nice little one and then they're quite slim as well so they're quite easy just to like taking your handbag as like a top up lip throughout the day which is what i'm going to be using these for now i have a nicole miller new york i have two of her eyeliners or eyeliners lip liners rather just in these kind of shades they're just like they're quite they're quite similar shades one's more like a nude brown kind of color and then the other one is more of like a deepening like red which will match perfectly with some of the lipsticks that I do have. I also have this eyeliner. It's all rubbed off. I'm sorry, I can't tell you where it's from. But it's just like a liquid eyeliner, like a felt tip. Now, I'm not the best at eyeliner. And I find that a lot of the sets that I got for Christmas and that I bought when they've been on sale do come with eyeliner pens. So, I know it's not something I wear every day, so this is just something that I'm trying to just use up at the moment. Oh, we have another lipstick here. This is the Give Them La La Beauty lipstick in the shade The Beach. Now, this one is also fairly, you know, just recently got this in the glossy box. But I do have a lot of lipsticks, so I've tried to just gain some lipsticks I can try and use up. So this really pretty lipstick, actually. It's quite like a peachy orangey nude, so it's not really a colour that I'd wear every day. But... I think with like a, a lip liner and a bit of gloss over the top then it will be fine. And now I also have the Skin Therapy Moisturising Lip Balm. This is from Milko I believe. And yeah, it's just a plain lip balm. Really moisturises your lips actually. I'd really recommend this one. So yeah, it's always handy to have a lip balm on you. It's the Terry like, Loose Powder in the shade Colourless. Now I haven't actually used this up yet. Um, I tend to use loose powder when I'm doing like a full face for like baking and I don't really wear a full face my makeup but very often because obviously I'm, I'm still going to school and it goes to work but when I do I will be sure to use this and I also have a W7 lip gloss I believe this is like a lip plumper now I don't really like this but the packaging it almost reminds me of like Charlotte Tilbury packaging in a way like potential dupe but it's just kind of like this W7. It's like it's really thick. It doesn't really moisturise your lips. I can't say that it plump, really plumps your lips either, but it's just a bit sparkly and a bit pink. So it's just something I'm trying to use up. So it's out of my collection. And then we have what's this? Oh, this is the In Transit Camera Close Up Primer by This Works. Now I haven't really, I haven't started using this one either. I'm gonna wait till I finish the number 17 one and then start on this primer. But yeah this looks like a primer i've like swatched on the back of my hand it's, it seems quite moisturizing so i'm quite excited to try this and then we have a little blush palette this is the revolution sweet cheeks palette and it's got four of the shades left in it i've used up all of that i've used up those shades there so then we've kind of got like a, a deeper blush this is kind of like the blush that i use every day at the moment and then you've got a little like i'm I don't know if you use this as like a highlighter because it is like quite light. I'd more use this as like a brow highlight to so just highlight my brow bone rather than like an actual highlighter. But that's what I use that one for, and then these two I use for blush as well. So hopefully, I can. My aim is to try and hit pan in all of these by the end of the year if I don't manage to use them up. So now I want to eyeshadow. So the first eyeshadow palette that I have the MAC Studio Rosy Nude Eyeshadow. Now, my goal is to try and hit pan in all of these shades by the end of the year. So, it's quite nice. It's a nice little like, £9 palette. 
figure these are like just kind of like everyday like rosy shades so hopefully we get a pan in every palette i then have the revolution forever dynamic palette it's like this little metallic palette. now this palette is like perfect for like traveling going anywhere because you can create like a look you can go from like a day to night look as you can see i've really hit pan in a few colors there i think i've got three pans so i'm going to try and aim for get a pan in every palette but it's quite nice you could do like just in a corner you know just a blend out you've got a bit of glitter and then you've just got some lovely shimmery shades to put on the lid and you've got like a crease corner as well which is quite nice so i would definitely recommend this palette and i'm thinking about repurchasing this palette as well when i've used it up and now we have my magnetic palette now this has got three four i believe different eyeshadow palettes in now it's all gone a bit messy because I right, said so these pans aren't actually magnetic because I, I depotted someone from the magnetic palette and turns out the pans were not magnetic but we just kind of fit them in and hope that they stay in there and if not we just shuffle them around so we've got the W7 Baby Clips palette in here so you've got a few, a few of the shades from there like those those kind of shades I found that the shades in that palette were very similar or they were like dupes for the the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette like some of the blues and like the sparkly purples they're exactly the same um, but that was like a little mini palette that's like nine shades from there um, I then have the W7 Spaced Out palette as well in here which is just all, kind of all of these shimmery shimmery colours at the top here is all from that palette now that palette is an all shimmer palette so I use it's like every day just like over the lid now hopefully I can either use up some of these shades or get a pan in all of these shades by the end of the year so I think if I take it one shade at a time I think I might be able to accomplish my goal and then what other palettes do I have in here oh I then have the make me blush london eye candy palette in here as well um so it's just like a few shades this shade is from there as well which i've hit pan i've I've, I've very naturally nearly used it up to be honest so when it's up i can go so there's just like a few like rosy and like purpley tones that are from there so yeah so hopefully by the end of the year i've got a pan in every palette i will keep you up to date on my progress and kind of just do like monthly updates of like what I've used, if I'm adding any more like products to this, like what products I've used, what products I've not used, things like that. Just so you can see my progress as I go along. So yeah, that's everything that I'm planning to pan in 2023. <laughs> that's a bit of a mouthful, but that's everything I want to try and use up. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.